Do you think anybody would want to buy Kate Spade? Absolutely. It's a great brand. It's um, globally one of the strongest ones as far as advertising and marketing. However, we hear that when customers go into stores, they're very disappointed with the product because it's very basic and therefore ends up competing with the likes of Michael Kors, Lauren Ralph Lauren, and it's a price gain to the B bottom. Basically made? Uh, I'll mean, put out the panel quality, or just not, or or not fashion. quality, Miss the boat fashionably. Miss the boat fashionably and the quality is substandard, and they're disappointed in it for the price. We, we should say, this is not a luxury band, brand, but what they call Aspir an aspirational yes. luxury brand. Yes. Uh, which is pretty significant, right? Coach also an aspirational luxury brand, right? That's correct, except that Coach is doing well. They have a lot of fashion. They've upgraded. The quality that you saw four years ago has simply go gone, and now it's much better, and it's sold very well per holiday, according to our checks. Got so it. a very different story. What kind of buyer would want Kate Spade at this point? Because it's, it's a little bit of a turnaround story at this point as well. The handbag store, I mean, Coach is in the midst of its own turnaround, which mm -hmm. is showing signs of traction. Michael Kors is having some difficulty. They're probably not in the market to buy. Mm -hmm. Tory Burch, a private buyer, why would Tory Burch want, want a headache of, of Kate Spade? Well, I think that I'm not sure about Tory uh -huh. Burch, but I think an apparel brand might want it because brand, they okay. don't want to have to create their own handbags. They want some systems and a supply chain that is up and running, and all they have to do is distribute it properly mm -hmm. and get it back on so track. So who does that suggest? It could suggest anybody in the mid-tier um, apparel brands. Uh, could be somebody in... Like, like a VF Corp, maybe. A course, VF Corp could do it. Only because they buy everybody. Yes, yeah. G3. <laughs> G3 has a lot of them. The, the, the and, Brazilians. Exactly. Yeah. And so you could see, I could see any of them doing that. I mean, honestly, I think that Ralph Lauren was such a strong brand, except for they did, never had a strong handbag business. I mean, if they took the likes of that and put it together, it could be a nice combination. I would say if, if there's a brand that has a voice... Kate Spade has a very clear and strong yes. voice in terms of its style, right? I mean, a Absolutely. lot of humor in the purses, a lot. Yes. It's just, right. it's very fun. And you, right. can, you can look at, so, oh, that's a Kate Spade and you know it. Right, and Ralph Lauren is trying to update and get younger. And it could be a nice combination because, again, their handbags look very um, dated. They look very traditional, and that's not really where the customer is right now in the handbag sector. But they're uh, struggling, too, to turn around. They are, but they're making headway because they're closing a lot of divisions, okay. laying off people. Who's so I think the when bag? they reemerge... Who's got the hot bag now? Coach is hot, Gucci is hot, and Saint Laurent. Those are the three handbag brands that are performing well. Everybody else, they're competing on price. Dinosaur bag, Coach. It's outstanding. Oh, is that what yeah, dinosaur yeah, is? That, is that what we, was talking we about yesterday? The other day? It's the dinosaur yeah. bag yeah. and it's the monogramming of it as right. well. You could do the monogramming as well as the little stamp imprint of a seahorse or a dinosaur or something like that on the bag at at the register and have it ready for Christmas. It was a big seller. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.